Hello everyone, a bit of a different video, but today I will show you how do I start creating a game engine. So um, today I want to make a new one, uh, not from entire scratch. I will copy a lot of stuff from my other engines, but I'd like to show you a little bit of how does this creation process work and how do I set up everything. So I'm with Visual Studio 2022 here. I will click create new project and then I will go to empty project. Now click next, then I need to type the project name. The project name is engine and the solution name is the name of the engine. Now call it Dynamite 2 or Dynamite 2. And some of you guys may know what is this about, but anyways, <laughs> uh, this is the location. And the reason why I create a project name called engine and then a solution name called Dynamite 2 is because then I have Dynamite 2 folder and an engine and then I can create the editor and a player uh, in this folder later on. So click create. And here you go, we have a completely empty C++ pro project to get started. First thing I would do is click here to show all files. I really dislike how Visual Studio shows this, so I'll click here. And then in this engine, I right click and I'll add new folder source. So this is the, the source folder and I'll add a new folder called include. Okay, and then right click here and I'll add a new project. And this project will be um, an empty project as well. I like to create stuff myself. And the name of the project will be editor. Now hit create. Once again, click here to show the files, right click, add a new folder, source. Then I right click and add a new item and this item will be called um, editor.c++. And this will actually be the entry point of the editor. Let me just right click here and set us as startup project because this is the project that I want to be built. And I will also change this to be a library. Let's just first write an entry point here so we can compile. Um, and since we are no normal people here, some people like to, to make an entry point uh, like a hello world and then a system pause. I like to crash my program as the first time that I compile it because that gives me a lot of luck. So I'm making this code here to crash it. <laughs> and this is how you start game engine development. So now I will press, I'll select the engine and press Alt Enter uh, to, to show this configuration, then I will make the configuration to all configuration and the platform to all platforms. And then the configuration type here, uh, oops, mom, dude. Okay. Then the configuration type here, it's not an application, but um, a static library. So the engine will be a static library. Okay, this is what I want. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that I'd like to do. Yeah, I want to do this. So you can see here, this is important. I do have the output directory and I do have the intermediate directory. Uh, and they all suck. They all are very bad. Okay. <laughs> um, so I will show you real quick how I do in cave. So this is cave engine directory and it does have a bean folder, which is binary. And then inside the binary, I do have the intermediate and I do have everything here for the platforms. And then I do have the platform itself, x64, release, and I do have the engine. So this is what I want to do. Because if you if you keep this as the default, so let me just, for example, make the debug we x64. Um, uh, what you can see here is that it is, the output directory is at solution directory, platform, configuration so it will be at the, the root direction of my, the, my solution and then platform which will be x64 and the configuration that it will be debug and release and in other words what this actually means is that when i open the, the, the folder of my project i will have like x64 here debug and release and this is bad very bad um, and to make it even worse the intermediate directory is the platform configuration. So this basically means that inside every single folder in the project, I will have 
platform and configuration and a bunch of uh, intermediate files. And this is bad, very bad. I don't like it. So let's change this. Let me just see why there's a different option. See, Win32 is directly in a configuration. Man, it's weird. It is very weird. Anyways, so all platforms, all configurations, I will click here to expand and I will change this. So this is the default solution directory is this, but I will put bin. Then I mean to bin. Uh, this is the output directory. So it's fine to have platform and configuration here. Very fine. Now click OK. And then the intermediate directory. It's not this. I do oh, um, solution there. Bin out of binary. And then intermediates. And then platform and then configuration. So this is what I want. I really want this. Okay. Um, and we, we can even double check with cave to see if this is how I do it. But I will not. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, this is correct. So I'm applying this and then in the editor, I'll click here, I will do the same thing. Because as you can see, it Visual Studio is really bad at doing this too. So let's change this. And what I actually want is to have the same uh, directory as the other project. And this is in, in our case is not bad because um, the like the editor needs the, the stuff that the the engine itself and um, generates and it also needs the player because when you ship the engine you need to ship the player too so it's fine to have them in the same file folder intermediates it's fine okay good now we have it so i'm applying this and there's one last thing that i would like to do that is to right click here View dependencies, uh, project dependencies, and then I will mark the editor as dependent on the engine because this means that if the engine uh, recompiles, if I change something in the engine, it needs to change the editor too. And for the editor to 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 build, it needs to have the engine built. So this is basically what it needs. Okay, all right, great. Um, there's one last thing actually that I that I need to do. So click select the editor, alt enter. And then I need to remember where is this actually? Because I always forgot. It's something in the C++ additional include directories. Yes, it's here. Uh, we need to add some directories here. That is basically solution directory. Oh, by the way, when you click here, oh, come on, dude, it shows here the directory. So it's fine. I believe that I can do project dear to and it will be editor. Um, but I would just make solution dear and manually. No, I actually do project dear. But I need to do I believe it's a backslash. Okay. Windows is weird. So I need to, to have the include here for the engine. Otherwise, this won't work. Man, it's bothering me this solution, this project here. I like to do stuff myself. Okay, so now I have here, as you can see, in the include directory, the engine include itself and then the editor. Great. Um, I also like to do is what I also like to do is to create a third party and I might do this actually I might actually go ahead here in the dynamite folder and right click new folder third party and then I'll put include here because I may have some some stuff here I don't believe that we need this in the editor. Mm. But I will add it anyways, just because it's good. All right. So I have it here. All my include directories. I will actually make the third party last and then the editor first. And then I'll click OK. 
and I'm applying this and I need to do the same thing with the engine. Engine C C++ is stupid. Where's the additional include directory? Come on C++, because this did include directory, but I believe that also for the library, I do have an additional include directory. I always forgot this. Maybe it's because I don't have like a, a file here. So let me just create a, a file engine.h and then I'll create engine.c++. Not sure why it's not appearing. Oh, it is. It's because of that. So Visual Studio had no idea that this was a C++ file, uh, project because there was no files in it and it was not showing up this. Now I can use the additional include directory. Great. So we added this, create this one. Engine include is always the first. Then I'll create a new one. That will be the third party include. Good. Now move it down. Good. There's one last thing that we actually like to do. And um, I will move this up from C++14 to probably C++17. And this is because of uh, STD file system. I'm not even sure if C++17 is enough. I think it is. I really like file system because it saves me from writing so many stupid, useless OS dependent file management. So I like this. So yeah, I think we are good to go. Oh, there's target name as well. Um, some people like to change this because the target name is the like the final name of this executable. And some people like to change this to something else. Maybe I'll leave it as project name, but maybe I will just make a dynami editor, stuff like that. I don't know. Let me apply this, hit OK. Uh, I'm also in, try to include now in the engine. And I'll actually try to do some. Oh, by the way, I really like to have guards like if and that engine dot a define. I like this. Uh, the reason why I don't like the pragmos is because um, this will you basically have like use the file name to make sure it only gets included those. But if you have two files with the same name, you will mess up. So I like this better. And then let's make a test void test. And then I'll implement this here. And this will probably working. The engine is working, right? And then the editor should be able to include the engine and call test, and then crash, of course, because this is what you expect, right? So if I hit F5 for the first time, there's a bunch of linked errors because of this, and I don't really know why. Uh, I believe I need to link the the engine.lib, but it does not make a lot of sense. One second. And I believe there's some mistakes in the intermediate folders. This is right. This one is, seems to be right too, but I believe the editor, so there's, it's missing this let me see what is going on here yeah so he created some random bullshit let me clear the solution good and I'll actually delete this because I'm not sure so let me build this again no I still get the linker error external symbol which is the test but the test is here so this is weird. So this is being built. 
x64 debug so i have the engine that obj hmm not really sure what's holding me back here because i don't think i need to put the the engine here as the an input i'm probably missing something one second okay i don't know why it is not uh catching in i pause the video and try to do some stuff but here's the deal i don't care about visual studio being stupid so i manually added the engine.lib here add additional dependencies in the editor and then in general i manually added added the um the place where this lib is and this is stupid and i don't know why this is happening i'm missing probably something but like the view dependencies the project dependence this should work this was supposed to work but it is not and i don't understand and i don't have the time to fix it so <laughs> i just added this and it is crashing as we expect because we made the code crash here but as you can see it is building and running and the engine is running um and then the the lib is running as well so that's basically it and then for to make the the player uh i basically do the same process as i did for the editor and then i'm ready to go i'm ready to start writing some code here <laughs> and some spoilers uh for this uh this engine that i'll write right now um i don't think i'll use any third party libraries but i do have the as i said we created the third party here um i will restrict this to probably like header only libraries and probably talking about stb <laughs> no not um stb sam barrett uh stuff it, it, how, how is it called sam barrett GitHub. This is a good thing. STB, yeah, it's correct. It's it's STB. Those libraries are really good, man. I recommend that for everyone. Like STB image is very good. STB true type is also very good. I would probably use it. Uh STB Vorbis is actually very good as well for audio. This is for image. This is for uh font handling. What else is good here? Everything is good. DXT is good for uh compression for image and works for OpenGL and stuff so yeah and there's another thing that i recommend as well which is glad generator jesus christ this library here glad.dav1d.da so it generates uh libraries for OpenGL for you so c plus plus what version of OpenGL you want? Let's say that I want OpenGL 3.1. Um, and let's say that I want to have some GLS. Then I can click here and open. And anyways, it generates and it generates for you. This is a good library. By the way, if you want to, maybe this is like one last thing that I like to do. Um, if you want to do OpenGL stuff, you need to include OpenGL library and people don't say this and it's bad. So I will actually include that because I want to do OpenGL stuff. So in the engine, librarian, general, is it here? Probably. Yes, additional dependencies. Great. I need to go ahead and include OpenGL32.lib. It's important. Probably some Windows libraries, I don't know. But it is fine for now and it works and build great and crashes. So that's it folks, a bit of a different video, of a setup video, but it's all set. Now and I hope this helps people. Oh, there's one last thing too that I forgot to do. But we need to create a Git repository. I really like to create a Git repository to my stuff. And you can call me whatever you want, but I like GitHub desktop. It's good. Okay, so I'm not gonna create here, but I recommend that you use Git. And the reason why I like GitHub Desktop is because I'm usually the only one working in my projects, so I don't have to worry about merging stuff or whatever. So it's very handy to see. Let me open here and see if I have some good things for you. Oh, this is the, our project, 
our game. Let me sh let me see if I have something good in cave. I no, I don't have. But it's very good to see this here, to see the fixes and the change log. It's good to do this. So, anyways, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I see you in the next one. Bye.